this video, we will focus on equations involving absolute values. You will find this on page 366 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Equations involving absolute values. The absolute value measures the distance of a number from zero on the number line. It does not matter if the number is to the left, negative, or to the right, positive, of zero of the number line. The distance from zero is going to be a positive value. Therefore, the absolute value is always positive or zero if you find the absolute value of zero because then it's no movement from zero. So, which two numbers have an absolute value of 7? So, it's like I'm writing it like this. There are two numbers that are the same distance away from 0. The positive number and its additive inverse, the negative one. So, there are only two numbers that have a distance of 7 from 0. Namely, negative 7 and 7. Okay, I want to make this a little bit bigger if I show you this. So we can do this for any positive number, not just 7. So this leads to the following general formula for equations involving absolute values. Negative. If d is negative, that x is d, then is no solution. Because it can only be positive uh, away. So negative, if you see absolute value equals and you see there a negative value, then you say no solution. This is because distance can never be negative. If d is 0, then there is only one position on the number line which is 0 units away from 0. Therefore, only one equation is formed. If d is positive, like that example, then x is a positive uh, option to the right or a negative option to the left. So two equations are formed. Let's look at an example. Make it also a bit bigger. Okay, let's start here. Solve this. So this and I give you 7. So thinking process. Which values are 7 units away from 0 on the number line? According to the definition, there will be two equations, two cases. There will be a positive and there will be a negative. Okay, remember, as soon as I write, this is just a practical thing. I don't write the bars anymore. I, I can put it in brackets, but not the bars. So, and then I just solve it and I get my negative 1 and I just solve this equation and I get 6. Very, very important. Always check your answer in the original absolute value equation. Meaning, substitute it in and see if this side is equal to this side. Substitute it in and if this side is equal to this side. Okay. So the solution, there's two solutions, is negative 1 and 6. I want to stop the video and I want you to do, and I think we can make it number B, and then we can also make it number C. Let's do that too. Okay. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. I'm going to make it smaller for the doing. Okay. Let's start. Number B. So, this copy it, so it's 3 minus x, and that is going to be equal to 2. So, again, remember there's two options. So, therefore, um, it's like this, or no bracket, it's positive 2, or 3 minus x, is equal to negative 2. Okay, again, you don't have to put brackets, or you can put the brackets. Okay, then it's negative x equals 2 minus 3, or negative x equals negative 2, negative 3. So negative x ooh, is equal to negative 1. So therefore, x is equal to 1. So negative x is equal to negative 5. So therefore, x is equal to 5. And if you check it in the original, so if I check it in here, and you can just orally check it in this case, 
So if I put in 1, so 3 minus 1, 2, that will work. And if I put in 3 minus, so that's negative 2, and then it will become positive 2, so both solutions will work. So therefore, um, x is 1 or x is equal to 5. Let's look at number C. So this was the bar, negative 3x, bar 9. So again, I have my two options. Therefore, negative 3x is positive 9. You don't have to write the positive, you can just write 9. Or negative 3x is equal to negative 9. So x is equal to negative 3 or x is equal to positive 3. And again, check. If you put in negative 3, then it becomes 9 and it's equal. And if you put in um, 3, then it's negative 9. Uh, but after you take out the bar, it will also be. So both solutions will work. x is negative 3 and x is 3. I'll show you later. Usually, if you have just one on this side, just a single number, usually both solutions will work. Okay. But I'll show you in a, a video to come when it's very important that you check the solutions. Get in the habit of checking it.